Hey everyone, it's Randy. Uh, so today's lesson, we're going to talk about uh, how to sound more jazz-like when you're improvising. I think this, uh, this can help a lot of people. A lot of blues players, blues and rock players tend to not, when they get some kind of a jazz feel type of song uh, thrown towards them, they tend to just kind of fall back into uh, the minor pentatonic and it ease, there's an easy way to kind of take that minor pentatonic or the blue scales that matter and mm -hmm. come up with some licks using a specific scale that I really like called the Mixo Blues, which is a combination of the Mixolydian mode and the blue scale. Again, we're not going to get too much into the theory. This is more about showing you this scale um, and how you can use it to sound a little bit more jazzy when you're playing over just a straight ahead blues for all that matter. Um, so a mixo blues has a one, flat three, a flat three, major third, four, flat five, five, flat seven, and then we're back to one. So it's a nice little chromatic line right here. scale all you're adding is one note to it this uh, basically we have these three in a row we're gonna add a one note before that so here is the a mixolydian blues scale or mixo blues we start with the first finger on the sixth string fifth fret fourth finger is gonna be at the sixth string eighth fret then we're gonna shift down and you're going to start with the first finger on the 5th string 4th fret, 2nd finger on the 5th string 5th fret, 3rd finger on the 5th string 6th fret, 4th finger on the 5th string 7th fret. So it's... Then we move down again, shift. 1st finger is going to be on the 4th string 5th fret, 3rd finger is on the 4th string 7th fret, First fingers on the third string fifth fret. Second fingers on the uh, third string sixth fret. The third finger is on the third string seventh fret. And fourth finger is on the third string eighth fret. So there's the other four in a row. And then we got first finger on the second string fifth fret. Fourth finger on the second string eighth fret. First finger on the uh, first finger on the first string fifth fret and then fourth finger on the first string eighth fret okay so all together it's Back down. sometimes people will slide this and that's okay but for right now so you get kind of a, a grasp on that go ahead and shift down with your first finger so, that's kind of my go-to scale if I'm wanting to sound a little bit kind of bluesy, but more of a bl jazzy blues, which usually uh, you'll run into those situations quite often. It won't necessarily be a straight-ahead jazz tune that you need to solo over, but it'll be something that kind of has a jazz feel to it. So, uh, this one happens to be we're doing an A mixo blues. So, the next thing you need to start practicing with jazz, you want to swing your notes a little bit. And what I mean by swinging the notes is you're going to, uh, it's very similar to blues, though. You're just going to take that dun dun dun, dun of the first notes holding out a little bit longer. Uh, you can pretty much do it automatically. It's a good thing to practice with a metronome. So, what I'm going to show you.
show you the difference between these sounds now. So just by adding those notes and practicing a little bit, uh, kind of getting a feel of how to improvise having this chromatic thing in there, uh, will we'll help you sound a lot more uh, jazzier. So here's a backing track, and I'm going to show, I'm going to start off with pentatonic, uh, and then I'm going to do the blues, and then I'm going to do the mixo blues. So, and I'll call that out before I start uh, start doing it. So here's here's the pentatonic. One, two, three, uh, three, four. difference uh, between the pentatonic, the blues, and the mixo blues. Uh, just by adding that one note though, you get a lot of mileage out of it. I recommend learning this lick right off the bat. So what you're doing is you're taking this minor third here on the third string, uh, first finger, fifth fret, and then you add this major third in, just from the mixolydian scale. swing it and then usually uh, after that you could add so we got sixth fret and I put the third finger so it's first finger on the third string fifth fret hammer on with the second finger on the third string sixth fret the third fingers on the fourth string seventh fret. then I might go up to the first string uh, fifth fret that's actually a nice little uh, kind of uh, what I would call a launching point for licks first starting and when I encountered the mixo blues it kind of opened me up to sounding a little bit more jazzy but I took that and really did would do this hammer on and play every note descending from there so we got down the uh, the mixo blues scale so you got hammer on at the third uh, third strings fifth fret and sixth fret Third string, fifth fret, hammer on the sixth. Then you go pinky finger on the first string, eighth fret. Then first finger on the first string, fifth fret. Go back to that hammer on. Second uh, second string, eighth fret. Then we go hammer on again. On the third uh, string, first. Then we go third finger, I'm sorry, third string, fourth finger, eighth fret. And then you go straight in a row. Then we have this hammer on again. I end on the fourth uh, string, seventh fret. So all together. So it could be all together in context. instead of going so what you do that lick we just 
did, you play the starting note is going to be down the scale. So it's and the hammer on comes after each note. In context. this chromatic right here on the third string you got four notes in a row or not here on the fifth string you got four notes in a row so I just honestly I just all I do is just go straight just sound really chromatic on those two uh, those two strings uh, on the third string and on the fifth string here it is in context I'm not gonna do any planned licks, I'm just gonna go da 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 using swung swung notes. Here we go. experiment a little bit but those are the two things with that mix so blues go if you can get this hammering on from this minor third to that major third and kind of use that as a starting point uh, and uh, doing the chromatics in between on the third string and also swinging this Three aspects: swinging it, uh, a little hammer on the major, the ma minor third to the major third, and the chromatic one in a row. Just by doing those three things, you can instantly start sounding a little bit more jazzy, and it's not that much different from your blues scale. So, again, I'd love to hear comments from you on uh, this lesson. Uh, that would be great. And check out RandySiller.com. You can sign up on the newsletter. That would be great. Uh, again, if you have any questions, send me send me an email or send me go to the website and uh, drop me a line on the contact, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks a lot, and have a good day.